double king prawns. Throw in a few crab sticks and we have a seafood medley. How's life on the fourth floor? Oh, it's fucking insane, man. Singapore won't communicate, and the percolator's fucked. I mean, you should come down and use ours. Look, um, do you fancy that drink? Yeah. What now? Live dangerously. <laughs> but what about the prawns? What? When they go off. What were you planning to do? What, tonight? No, with the prawns. Don't know. It's funny I had you down as a microwave meal kind of guy. I am. They're on offer. Yeah. There was this guy, tight T-shirt, a pair of those sandals German lesbians used to wear, and he's, he's pushing his trolley through fruit and veg. He goes straight past the soft fruit and onto the hardcore veg. I, I wasn't stalking him or anything, it's just... Well, you know, you get a sense of people from what they buy. So, there he is with a pack of organic carrots in his hand, checking out the sell-by date, or so it seemed. I glance into his trolley and I up his other choices. One aubergine, organic, three courgettes, also organic, and a bunch of fair trade bananas. What? Well, I don't think he was making ratatouille. Sorry. Rude. Fucking rude. What are you after? What? What, what do you really want? Three fit men. Three passionate flings, three weeks, and then adios, amigos. Oh. And what are you after? Oh, same, really. Same but different. OK. Different in the three weeks bit. He obviously lived in the gym, but didn't wax or shave yet. The only guy in the gym with hair. Very 70s throwback. <laughs> Caveman cheek, I suppose. <laughs> So, what was his name? Who? You know, the missing link. I don't know. Well, I didn't tell you. Never asked. So it was his biceps, not his brain. Got it. And purely physical, nothing else. You kissed him, you shaked him. Yeah. No. No, he didn't. It's not a kisser, I guess. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I'm not doing it.
Come on, let's go. the last train. Look. <laughs> Just take the prawns. See you Monday. <laughs> <laughs> 